In this video, I'm going to review a chair. That's right, a super compact and very inexpensive chair that you could take with you on your next bike adventure. Find out what I like and dislike about this chair in this video. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you're into things like gravel bikes, 650B bikes, the supple life, then you have found your people, consider subscribing. I just wanna point out this video, like all the other videos, is an independent review. The big folding chair lobby is not paying me at all uh, to say positive things about this chair. So there's that. And if you appreciate these independent reviews, consider supporting the channel financially. There are PayPal links in the description below or you can buy some supple merchandise. So supple. So recently I picked up this uh, folding chair. It's a Petros unique stool, just so I can bring it with me on bike trips and bike rides. Uh, so I have some place to sit when I'm doing watercolors. I know it's a bit of a luxury item and if you are a super minimalist bike packer type, uh, this probably isn't for you. But if you do like to carry some luxury items or not sit on the ground or have to find a log, or if you like to do plein air painting and just want you know, a portable place to sit, then you might be interested in this chair. So basic facts, it weighs in about 14 ounces or 400 grams, and it folds down really, really small. This might be the smallest folding tripod uh, stool that I've found. I did a lot of research. There are lots of uh, folding chairs out there, many of them costing over 50 bucks. The great thing about this chair is that it's only 20 bucks. It also packs down really small, definitely small enough to uh, put inside a pannier, inside your walled 137 basket, and almost small enough to fit completely in a rando style bag. In terms of portability, this chair has it in spades. As you can see, it's enclosed in its own case, which actually tucks into the uh, fabric seat of the chair. And it's basically two large parts. This is, this, there is this triangular piece, which is uh, what you sit on, obviously, and some legs. And these legs kind of snap together um, like a big snapping thing. After you have the legs assembled, you just have to simply slip in uh, these pointy bits that are opposite of the rubber feet into these little pockets in the stool itself. I'm gonna do this standing up, but there is a better way to do this, and it's actually to use your body weight to assemble the chair. So what you actually wanna do is uh, once you have two legs in, or two uh, parts of the uh, seat support in, lay it on the ground flat, and use your body weight to flex this third piece uh, to get this last corner in the chair. It makes it a ton easier. If you read reviews on this chair, you'll, you'll hear from people that said that they almost stabbed their chest uh, trying to assemble this, but that's because they didn't assemble it correctly. You do have to lean on it uh, with your body weight on the ground to get it to fit. Here is the chair in its final form, and it's pretty basic. You know, it's just like your typical tripod chair, except that it breaks down really small and is really light. I've used it a handful of times uh, for painting here around town. So while we're here, I'm gonna make a super quick painting. Uh, I dragged this new portable stool I just bought. Um, so we'll see how well it works. So that's the portable painter. It's meant to sit on your knee. Got my uh, sketchbook, paper towels, and the stool. And so far, so good. You know, it's as comfortable as I think a tripod chair can be. Uh, it puts me at about the right height, so I still have an angle on my knees so I can lay my uh, painting palette on there. If there is any downside is that the feet are kind of close together. So if you're on a really soft surface, kind of like loamy dirt or muddy dirt, this may sink in. So you, this is definitely uh, optimized for harder surfaces. You know, your, your mileage may vary if, get, if things get really muddy and wet. If you're moving from place to place, say you're fishing or you're painting and you don't want to keep constantly uh, assembling the chair, you could just hook a carabiner to this and put it on your backpack or on your painter. So in terms of likes, there is a ton to like. Uh, it's relatively small. Uh, fits in mo it, it will fit in most painters. It's fairly comfortable. I think they have a weight rating of about 250 pounds. Uh, I think that might be a little optimistic. I weigh about 180 pounds, and I think like once you tip over the 200 pound mark, this chair, probably not for you. I can't speak to long-term durability because I've only had for for a short time, but uh, so far all the seams are still holding up. There's no cracks in the central plastic piece. Another big positive is that it is just $20. 
It's not like a $60, $80 fancy uh, ultralight camping chair that if you, you break it, you're gonna be heartbroken and broke. Uh, it's only a $20 chair. So I think uh, for me, for my occasional use, um, you know, taking on bike rides and doing painting, I think it's really good value. I'm gonna put a link to this chair in the description below. And if you guys have any questions about this chair, leave those in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them. Uh, but what do you guys think? Do you guys travel with a chair or some other seat-like accessory or is that excessive? Is that too much uh, when you go on your bike tours? Let me know in the comments below. And once again, if you liked this review, uh, consider supporting the channel for more original bikey content. And until next time, keep the supple side down.